Hello wonderful people, viewers and subscribers. Um, today seems not to be a very wonderful day for Senator Ifan Yoruba because I came across a video of a protest by the bank which he is owing them perhaps a huge amount of money. Honestly, I don't know whether this is more politically motivated or bank pursuing after their money. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, today is Monday, the 21st day of June, 2021. And then we'll have here the staff of Heritage Bank, PLC Abuja. We are in front of um, Senator Andy Ubar's house in Abuja. Senator Andy Ubar has been owing the bank for a couple of years now. And um, we are here for a peaceful meeting with him, very peaceful meeting, to ask him to kindly repay those loans because those are depositors' funds. And um, those monies, if they are not repaid, we throw the number of people you see here with their families out of work and we know the situation of um, the economy in town. So if this number of people are thrown out of work, you know what it means. So we are here to appeal to him, to the distinguished senator, to kindly pay this money so that um, these people will not lose their job. And of course, the bank becomes a going concern. Thank you very much. You've seen it, eh? When I saw the videos, I was like, ah, this is really a very big blow on uh, the man, Senator Ifanyi Uba, in his pursuit to become the Anambara State Governor. Well, <laughs> Hardly do you have any of these men that doesn't own bank. Uh, but the character of servicing debt is one thing that is very, very important. And uh, having someone at that level being caught up in this um, scandal because it's becoming a scandal for the bank to, you know, have all, most, as you can see, many of the bank staffs are at his residence begging and pleading that he should service the debt to save the jobs of the bankers in this uh, trying time of no job and the rest of them. So, if I know, ba, now you know where you have um, transaction, business transaction with the bank. Now you know what you use the money you do. And only you will know as you go take, go pay them. Because Anambra State huh, we will not carry the yoke of Bugari in Anambra State though. I mean Boroboro kind of um, state government. You know? You borrow from bank, you borrow from here, you borrow from there. We want a kind of governor that creates wealth. Not the kind we are having in Abuja that have nothing to offer. My next video we will substantiate this very position. Okay? So if I know ba Marebi Olaru, the Kwachi Law Godoy. And I know why these guys are coming out. Perhaps he knows that. If I know about will be heavily spending money in his campaign to become an Ambara state governor. I think what should be important at this time is for if I know about to settle with the bank, maybe renegotiate the terms of servicing the debt 
and spend less in this forthcoming election. Now the advice I they give you, because all the money where you go spend, to be honest with you, the, the level of information we are dropping through the radio program and the awareness we are creating, the political consciousness that is growing in Anambra State. You see all of you that is posed to lavish money, donate money, buy vote, buy delegate and the rest of them. Huh. Because people are beginning to understand better that last class that then be victims. So save part of those money. My advice to Ifanyoba. Go and start sorting yourself out with the with the bank. Alright? So that is just it for now. So if you know if I know, but take this video to him. I know he's in Abuja. He must have seen this, um, uh, what do you call it, um, protest. You should go and address it. Hmm? Then he'll come back and continue with his um, pursuit to become an Ambala governorship. Um, he's already a governorship candidate for the party, but to win the election proper. I'm signing out. Thank you, my people. I'm still recovering, so I just have to be taking it one step at a time, all right? Take care. Subscribe, like, and share.